This is part four of a series, A Butcher Demonstrates the Correct Way to Process a Deer. In this episode, you're gonna see some very simple equipment that anybody can purchase on Amazon that will help you to butcher a deer or any other farm animal that you're butchering for your family. Uh, the equipment is very simple, very basic. So check out this episode and make sure to watch the whole series you can find the playlist with all the videos. There's more coming. Jay said before, this is venison you cannot buy. No. What we're gonna do here, what, he's been aging these deer, now he's gonna cut them up and show us how to have the kind of quality meat that we talked about it in a, a recent video, you can check that video out here, uh, how this quality meat you can't buy it. No amount of money can put it on your table, only hard work and some knowledge, which Jay's gonna share with us now. So let's start, Jay. All right, the couple things we're gonna need is a boning hook. Get yourself a boning hook. Very important. It's going to save your fingers. It's going to save your hands, um, and it'll be more accurate with your cutting. And uh, I think this is four to seven dollars. I don't remember. Uh, this is a four and three quarter inch boning hook. Very important. It's my one of my favorite tools. One of my uh, one's very necessary to keep my fingers in place. Um, plus, it acts as an extra hand, and I'll show you that in a minute. Get yourself a, a breaking knife. This is what this is called, or steak knife or whatever. You don't need a, a super huge knife. You don't need huge knives because we're not doing anything huge. So it's just a breaking knife. I think it's a nine or 10 inch breaking knife. I got this from Koch Supplies. Um, this is a five inch boning knife. It's a stiff blade, not flexible. Um, this is a Forstner. I hope I'm saying that right. And uh, this is an expensive knife, but if you take care of it, it'll last you a lifetime. Get yourself a steel. Uh, I do not recommend using a polished steel if you've never used one before. You're gonna ruin a knife. So get yourself a, uh, a medium coarse or a medium fine steel. Uh, they're gonna be cheaper if that's what you're gonna start out with. You, you have the polished steel. If you don't know what you're doing, you're, you're just wasting your time. So don't get one of these. If you're new to this, get a medium one. Right, this is a, uh, a medium steel. Uh, it's nothing fancy. Nella is the name of it. I don't even know where this came from. I've had it forever. But this is a steel you can use to get started with and learn how to use it properly. Uh, and, and you'll be able to keep an edge even if you really don't know what you're doing. So this will help out. But the polished one here is, is very smooth. Um, you can see the grooves in this, I hope. Um, can you see the grooves, Austin? Yep. Okay. This is a medium one and this is a polish. It's, it's just about smooth. Uh, so this will help you starting out. This is when you get experienced. Um, get yourself some gambrels. This is a hot gambrel uh, or spreader, however you want to call it. Uh, this is a, a nice thing to hang the animals with. It's light. It holds up to 350 pounds. I don't think you're going to have to do that big anyway, and uh, it will keep the animals from from falling off the, you know, going all over the place. Uh, and then you can also do other stuff with it. if you have lambs, sheep, or goats, or or pigs, you can use this for pigs, that's what it's made for, and you can use one of those. Get yourself that. I do not have a block and tackle here to show you that I have with me that I bring into the woods, uh, in case we, like we used a couple weeks ago to dress a deer. This is a 25 inch meat saw. No? Okay, this is, this is an old saw. These are all the internet. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have some links to show or whatever later, but you know, everything will be at the, at the bottom. Um, get a 25 inch saw. Do not get one of the small packing saws, the 17 inch or 19s or whatever they are, and do not get a 30, because that's just way overkill. Your arm's gonna fall off when you get done using it. 25 inch is a good all-purpose meat saw. They're not expensive. I think you can buy a saw with 12 blades for 60 or 70 dollars, and then you can just buy replacement blades after that. And um, this is a must-have too. It just it makes things a lot easier. Even though you don't need it, I'll still use it because I'm getting older now. My body can't move stuff around like it used to. It as heavy, so we cut things up a little bit more. And these tabletops. Stop by your local grocery store. Sometimes they throw them away. Really? Yeah. No way. It's three hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. So you know, so like these are all used. I got these from awesome. friends of mine. That, hey, you want some tops? Sure. Awesome. Because they they swap them out. On the year, whatever, and they throw them in the garbage. If you've got somebody that works at a store, tell them to keep their eyes open for these cutting boards. 
What's nice about these is they can be a perfect fit if you have a skill saw. Yeah. You can fit anything you want. Yep. You know, once you cut them, you're done, but if you need to cut it smaller, very simple, draw a line on it. That's how I did these. Awesome. So custom fit because they're yeah. a lot longer than I need them. Perfect. Um, but that's just an extra tip. Yeah, I love that. Just keep an eye out for cutting boards because you can, and you, you don't even need a stainless steel table. You can have a wooden table. You can yep. screw this to two by four legs or something. Good to go. Just to make it work. Yep. Uh, and the, the last thing you don't want is a stainless steel table to cut up. Okay. That'll ruin your knife. And, All right. And make for a really bad experience. So, so cut only on nice wood, wood by far. Okay. The old butcher block, the yeah. old school one, is the best thing to use because it doesn't dull your knives. Got it. They're harder to clean, but they honestly they grow less bacteria than these do. Really? Yeah. But these are real, real hard on the knife too. Plastic boards. So, Great. Um, this stuff is laying around everywhere. Yeah. If you just don't ask, you don't know. Yep. Um, another thing to do if you know you may be interested in a bandsaw or a commercial grinder, which probably not. It's going to be three phase. Is the uh, grocery store yeah. closeouts, the buyouts? Uh, they advertise oh, it all the yeah. time. But what's nice about this stuff here is even if it's three phase, you can convert them to single phase, go to track supply and buy a motor. Yep. That's what I did here. If this was a three phase, I've got a 220 motor cool. around here, and it runs beautiful. Done. You know, and that grinder, forget about it, it's not <laughs> big enough for that. But um, little tabletop grinders, they have. Yeah, that's what we have. A little, right. I got a one horsepower, which for one or two deer on a Saturday is going to be fine. Right. Yeah, you yeah. don't need nothing big in the lab no. to make this enjoyable. Yep. That's, believe me, after the hunt is over and yeah. you know, everything's good, nobody wants to be doing this. <laughs> you know, especially if it's if it's going to be a pain. Yeah. Right? If, but if you're set up properly. That's the difference. Right. Right. Because I can enjoy, I can enjoy the breaking down. I can right. enjoy the butchering. If I'm working at a comfortable height, mm -hmm. if I got sharp knives, a good working space, I can make a mess. Right. I'm not in my... You know, there's been times I've butchered a deer in my mother-in-law's kitchen and you're afraid to, you know, make a big mess yeah. in your mother-in-law's <laughs> kitchen. So just get yourself the right workspace, work standing up tall with some sharp knives, put on the radio, you got a buddy helping you out. I mean, you can have a really fun day at it if you set it up right. If you're rushing it and just, you know, you got your dull old knives and you're trying to work off the back of a pickup, right. it's not going to be fun. Yeah. And if you don't have the heart or the will or want to do this, then don't. Yeah. You know, just drop it off and let some guy do it, take care of it for you. But, uh, you know, this, for me, the hunt is great, but this is even better. Yeah. Because after all said and done to where we are today, the stuff that we're going to do right now. Yep, this is where. Is where, you know, the rubber meets the road. Yeah. All the equipment that Jay showed in this video, you can find links below. The links will bring you to Amazon. You'll help support this channel and the production of the videos without spending a penny extra on the purchasing of this equipment. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.